So go ahead and find your mountain pose. Sitting bones down and crown high. Think about core focus today because when we do planks, you really want to be <clears throat> strong through the core. So bottom ribs toward your spine and then up. And that lengthens your posture, but it also engages that core, so it's supporting your low back. And when we're doing planks especially, you don't want to be sagging through the low back. You want to make sure that your lower back is supported through the whole process. So shoulders and shoulder blades down. And then keep lengthening through your spine. Keep the sitting bones, shoulder blades going down, ribs in and up, and crown to the ceiling. Inhale, arms reaching out, hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch forward, keeping your shoulders down, and hands behind you, fingertips clasped. Lift your heart, stretch your spine, open through the front. Exhale, over. So we're pivoting at the top of the thighs, coming into that forward pivot, more than bend. Kind of lead with your chest and your chin toward your legs, hands towards the ceiling, toward your head. And you can tuck the chin in a little bit so your neck gets a good stretch. And lift your sitting bones. And then when you're ready, bend your knees a little, keep your chin in. Ribs up, sitting bones down as you unwind and come into that upper body back bend, looking towards the ceiling, shoulders down. Keep breathing, lengthening. And then inhale, upright, release your arms. So feel a moment, the spine, all that energy beginning to focus, and keep that core in your awareness. And again, inhaling, arms out to the side, shoulders down. Hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and exhale, clasping the opposite way behind. Heart high, stretch your spine, pivot over, and exhale. So again, deepen into that as much or as little as your body needs this morning. Chin in, lift the sitting bones for that hamstring stretch, and then slowly work your way up, and bring your heart high. Shoulders down, stretch back through the crown. And then again, inhaling, come upright and release. Take a moment there, reposition as you need to. And shoulders and hips forward for our side stretch. Inhale the arms to shoulder level, bring your palms toward the ceiling and then over your shoulders. Hands passed and clasped for our side stretch. Arms by your ears, sitting bones down, and lean to the side without twisting. So really get those ribs opening on that side you're leaning away from. Maybe press the foot down a little deeper, and out through your head and your hands. And inhale upright, and switch your hands. Again, shoulders down, sitting bones down, lift high, and stretch into that lateral motion. Again, keep the top shoulder back, the whole body still facing forward. We'll reach it out. And inhale and come up. Exhale and release. Take a moment feeling those ribs a little bit more activated. And we'll do our twist. So arms out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, and over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows. Shoulders and sitting bones down, ribs in, stretch it out, and twist. Lengthen up, breathe in, and on an exhalation, come on over, and find your forward bend in your twist. Kind of keep the weight on both feet, your arms back to your ears, and relax. And then on an inhalation, work your way up. And into the upper body back bend. Remember, gentle on your low back while you're twisted. Chest high, elbows back. Inhale to the top, exhale to the center, switch your arms around, and we'll twist the other way. So again, lengthen your spine, breathe in, and exhale, twist in. Keep the weight on both feet, lengthen up, and exhale over. 
And again, just deepen as much or as little as your body wants this side and feel how that weight is distributing. Maybe see if you can make it adjust into even on both feet. And again, keep breathing, just relaxing. And when you're ready to work your way up, just stay in the top. And wind to the top, lifting your heart, elbows back. And of course, don't overdo your lower back. And inhale upright, exhale back to the center. Arms up, let's swan dive. So pivot forward, keep that whole upper body flat and parallel to the floor. And then just drop again into ragdoll. You can deepen that lower back work if you want by pulling your hands behind your legs and pulling in a little bit more or not, your choice. And then arms back to the front. And again, wind your way back into mountain pose. Just take a moment there feeling your body. And remember, we're core focused today. So those ribs are in and up, that whole midsection is empowering and energizing you, and we're going to be on the mat. So go ahead and stretch up and just pivot on over and come down to child's pose for our transition. Hips back on your heels, hands next to your feet, and forehead toward the mat. Take a moment there. Keep your knees together if you like the low back to get a good stretch, or separate if you want to breathe more easily. And again, remember padding if you need it, wherever you need it. And then bring your arms out in front. And we're going to start with our body in table position. So wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Knees, hips lined up. Bottom ribs up for that lower back support. So core nice and activated. And chest a little toward your thumbs so that you're not hunching that upper body. So we're going to start with a supported plank. So keep one knee down and we can bring the other leg out and then pivoting, bring one arm up and come into the side plank. So as you're in this position, you want to keep that alignment in mind. So your wrist, elbows, and shoulder on that arm that's down, line up to support you with the other arm straight above you. The knee is bent, and you can bring it so that the foot goes toward the heel of that extended out leg. And you want to kind of sink through the hip and get your side of your body in a nice straight line. And then bring that hand back down and leg in and find your position. I'll scoot around so you can see the opposite side. And again, we're starting in table position. We're keeping that knee bent. The other leg is going out as you bring the arm up and you're aligning so that everything is stacked. So the arms are right above each other. You want to make sure that the Extended out leg and the bent knee leg are in alignment as much as you can. And that hip comes as down as is appropriate for it, the length of your leg into that side straightness. So don't tip your head down or up. You want to keep it also in line with the rest of your body. So kind of feel that midsection as supportive for your whole spine. And then again, hand comes down, knee comes back in. Go ahead and sink back into child's pose and just take a moment there to breathe. So you can circle your wrists if your wrist got a little overdone. And remember, if you got a weak wrist like I do, just be gentle. And if you need to keep a knee down at all times, feel free to do that. And then bring your arms out in front. We're going to pivot up, bring your legs back, drop your hips, roll all the way onto your belly, and bring your forehead to the mat, elbows into your side, hands, palms down next to your head, and forehead face toward the mat. So kind of sink into that lower body. So we're going to start with 
sphinx position. So you want to keep pulling the elbows in toward your side and the hands back toward your elbows. Rotate your face forward, crown toward the ceiling. Tuck your chin back in, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, coming into that little low cobra sphinx position. So palms are planted. Pull those elbows in toward your hips, toward your ribs, toward your sides, and just let your lower body relax. So from here, we're going to go up into forearm plank. So tuck your toes under. Get really connected into the arms. So elbows pulling, hands pulling back toward your elbows, elbows pulling in toward your side. Activate the core so the midsection solar plexus focus. Bring that lower rib area up toward your spine, up toward your heart. And then lifting with that solar plexus, bring your body up into a full um, forearm plank. So you're lifting through the hips. If you're sagging through the hips, just lift the hips a little bit higher. But keep the core, that solar plexus area, really lifting as your focus. The more you lift through the core, the less you should get into that shoulder area as your support. Push back through the heel, out through the crown. Get your body as straight as you can. And then, if you can, lower your body. Otherwise, bring your knees down and lower. And then bring your hands under your shoulders. Push back and again into child's pose. Take a moment there and relax. So let your shoulders release, let your whole body relax. And again, you can move your hands around, your shoulders around just to release whatever might have been a little bit strained. And then inhale and sit up. And again, we're going to come first into table position. So let's come into table position, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. That bottom rib area going up for support, up toward your spine, up toward your heart, core active. And then with your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips in table position, we're going to extend the legs back into full plank position. So again, keep lifting through the hip area, through the core, and you want to make sure that if you're sagging through the hips, that you lift a little bit more with the hips. So you're kind of tightening through that whole midsection of your body coming into your plank position. And you're reaching through the heels, out through the crown, so the whole body is lengthening. So those bottom ribs being up toward your spine and toward your heart are really, really important as you're in plank position. So again, keep lifting a little bit more through the hips rather than sinking through the hips if that's an issue for you. And then just bring your knees to the mat or if you're really good, you can shift forward so your shoulders are over your fingertips and lower, bending your elbows in chaturanga. My wrist doesn't do that, so I won't. And then just come down to the mat and relax. And you can turn into resting crocodile, head to one side, hands palms up, shoulders down, and on an exhalation, turn your head to the opposite side. And again, just relax there. Feel that core a little bit more energized and empowered. And then forehead to the mat, hands under your shoulders. So if you're really good, you can activate that midsection and press up into plank or you can do like me and go back into child's pose and up into table position and then again come into your plank so whichever way you get there again wrists elbows and shoulders lined up for support ribs up core active press through the heel out through the crown and we're going to go into side plank from this position so, if you're like me and you prefer, you can first bring the knee down and again come up into that supported side plank. 
Wrist, elbows and shoulders lined up, extending out through that leg, the foot and the heel kind of lined up on that back area, and the shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. And then bring your hand down, come back into the full plank, and if you want to, leave your legs straight, kind of stack those feet next to you, and come up into the full side plank. So again, wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up, core activated, everything in a straight line as you can. And again, don't tip your head down or up, keep it in line with your spine. And then hand down, back to plank, and I'm going to go back into child's pose and relax my wrist because it gets worked hard. And then breathe and relax. And I'll turn around so we can do the other side. So again, if you've just come down all the way to your mat, you can press up back into plank. Or if you're in child's pose, go ahead and come up into table first. And then go ahead and extend into your plank. Wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Keep that core activated, lifting. And we'll first do the knee down side plank. So bring your knee to the mat, and again, rotate up, coming into your side plank. So as much as possible, you want that hip coming down and the wrist, elbows, and shoulders on both arms lined up. Shoulders toward your waist, core active, and your whole body breathing and lengthening. And then bring the hand back down and back into regular plank. So shoulder blades, shoulders down toward your hips and core activated, lifting the ribs and stretching through your heels and crown. And then again, you can go into that kneeling plank, side plank, or you can come up into full side plank. Your choice. So again, breathe. Lift those hips so that everything lines up as straight as you can. Keep that core working. And then the hand comes down, back into plank. And again, you can chaturanga or you can sink back into child's pose. So take a few moments there and breathe. And when you're ready, bring your arms out in front. And again, starting in table position, getting ready for another plank. So go ahead and come up into your plank, wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up, shoulder blades toward your waist, ribs up toward your spine, and your heart core active. And keep lifting those hips a little bit extra if you need to. Heels back, crown forward. Now, if you want a little extra, you can lift one foot and push back through the base of the toes and the heel to get a little bit more energized. And then bring that foot down, reactivate your full plank, and then do the other leg also. So again, keep that core really working, ribs up and toward your heart. And the foot comes down. Again, you can chaturanga down if you love it, or like me, back into child's pose. So again, wherever you are, just take a moment to breathe and relax. If you've come down on your belly, again, you can do resting crocodile with the head to the side and the shoulders relaxing down. And then turn your head on an exhalation to the opposite side. And then once more, hands out in front and pivot up, coming into table position. If you've been down in resting crocodile also, come on up into table. Once more, activate your core. And we're going to do a variation this time. So bring your foot out and up to hip level. And we're going to bring the hand to your hip and then up to above your other hand. 
so that you're extending in side plank with the leg up. And again, just do what's right for your body. If that's more than you can challenge yourself to do, you can feel free just to keep that hand on the floor as you lift the leg. And then bring your hand down, rotate your hip toward the floor, and bring your knee back into table position. Circle that other wrist. It gets a little bit intense sometimes. And don't forget to, of course, breathe. So we'll do that same thing on the opposite side. Get the core activated. Get that knee right under your hip. Wrist, elbow, and shoulder lined up. Foot comes out up to hip level. And sink into that hand. You can bring that first, that other hand to your hip and stay there. Or you can activate it all the way above your other hand into the full bent knee plank. Again, maximize or minimize, do what's right. Of course, personal practice for your body. And then the hand comes down, the hip squares to the floor, and your knee comes back to the mat. Once more, sink back, circle those wrists, and if you'd like, come all the way into child's pose. So just take a few minutes to feel that core area. Notice breathing deeply, exhaling any tension, releasing any tension and tightness in the wrists as well. And then coming back, arms to the front, and coming up onto hands and knees. And we're going to activate our twist. So go ahead and get your core active. We're going to take one hand palm up, slide it through, head and shoulder all the way to the floor. You may lose some of my voice as I bring my head down to the mat. It gets a little bit tricky. So you want to make your head and shoulder as much connected to the mat as you can. Pivot the elbow on the other arm straight up so that you get a little bit more activation through the shoulder. And then if you love this twist and you want to go further, there are two more levels. Don't go there if this is enough. It's a good twist this way. Otherwise, bring your opposite foot near your hand that's extended. So that leg and the hand are kind of near each other. And then press out through the heel. That's going to activate a little more twist in your lower back. And then if you're loving that and you want even more twist, you can bring that arm up toward the ceiling and keep looking at it as you roll toward the back of your head, chin tucking in, but not going on your neck, staying on your head and shoulder as that arm moves behind you. As you get into the full th third part, if you've gone there, it gets a little balancey, so don't go too far. Hand and heel pushing away from each other. Shoulder and head still on the floor. And of course, keep breathing. When you're ready to release, the hand comes down. If it's up, the leg comes back in if it's been out. And unwind coming back into table position. And again, as you get back to table, just feel your body. Notice the twist energy through your spine, through the length of your body into your meditative center, getting ready for our relaxation. And again, we're going to do the same twist the opposite way. So get your knees under your hips, activate the core, wrist, elbows, and shoulders start lined up. And then the hand is palms up and slides through between the opposite hand and knee. And again, the head comes down all the way to the mat. Pad underneath you as much as you need to to make that happen so you've got support. And your shoulder and head stay on the mat. The elbows up toward the ceiling as much as you want in this version of the twist. Stay there. Perfectly good twist. If you love the extra lower back work, bring your foot out in front and press that heel away. Again, staying on your shoulder and the side of your head. If you like the full version and you bring your arm up, keep looking at your arm and roll a little bit more toward the back of your head as you move further into the twist 
if that's something right for your body. So again, just breathe, exhale tension, maximize or minimize whatever is right for your body. And again, if your arm is up, bring it down, hand to the mat. And if your leg is out, bring it back in, knee to the floor. Unthread your needle, coming back into your table position. And again, go ahead and sink back and into child's pose. Take a few moments there, just breathing and relaxing. Kind of notice your spine, all activated energy, moving up maybe into your head for the relaxation. Deep breath, tension. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels and bring your legs out in front and to the end of the mat. So sitting bones connect, press out, hip bones, kneecaps, toes up toward the ceiling and shoulders and shoulder blades relaxing down toward your waist. So the whole spine is activated. Keep that core as your focus. And we're just going to roll slowly again onto the mat. So as you come down, just unroll your whole body onto the floor. Now as you get down, just take a moment there, reclined integration, just letting your body release and relax. So notice the core. We did a lot of work there. Just let it soften. We wanted to get that full lung capacity working. So let the belly move as you breathe. Deep breaths in, exhale, and relax. You can kind of slide your sitting bones toward your heels, get that lower back more connected. It feels like the lower back needs a little release today after all that core work. You can bend your knees and kind of angle the knees toward each other for the relaxation, or you can put some padding under your knees, and that's going to release that lower back area and midsection of your body a little bit more. So go ahead and relax your shoulder blades down toward your waist, shoulders toward the floor, hands, palms up slightly away from your sides, releasing that upper body area as well. And just with deep breaths, exhale any tension, soften through the belly, soften through the midsection and just relax. And with each breath, just let your body grow heavier, sinking deeper into that surface beneath you. And just let Mother Earth support you fully and completely. Notice your ankles, kind of move them around a little bit. As we're in that full plank, that tends to work the ankles a little bit more strenuously, so just let them have a little bit of relief. Relax your legs, especially through the hip and pelvis. As we work that core, that area also tends to work a little bit harder. Release the solar plexus and your belly. Exhale, just let it soften. Ribs and heart, arms, hands, shoulders, just relax through your whole torso, whole upper body. Soften your face and your jaw. Kind of move your chin maybe a little toward your chest to give that back of the neck a little bit of a stretch, but don't push it into the mat, just let it relax. Deep breath, just let your face and your scalp and your skin, everything release any tension. And as your body completely relaxes, just feel it growing heavier, sinking deeper into the earth. Just let it go, support it completely. No need for attention. As your body relaxes, just allow your mind to release as well. No need to think of your body or any other thoughts. 
As new thoughts come to you, just let them drift away as easily as your breath. As the thoughts come, just release the content without attention, without awareness. And deepen into the breath, letting the breath be the focus of your attention, aware only of the breath and the peace within. And as your body releases into peace and your mind drifts into peace, let peace be your focus fully and completely and relax in peace. And when you're ready, begin breathing more deeply, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And just begin moving your body gently whenever you become ready, or stay relaxing even longer if that would be something you'd like to do today. And when you're ready, just begin releasing your body stretching more fully as you breathe more deeply. And when you're ready for that yoga hug of appreciation, press your back down, draw your knees toward your heart, and just let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and every day. And when you're ready to release, just roll to the side and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of the day. So thanks for joining me this morning. Hope you feel energized and core activated for a lot of energy for your weekend or whatever's ahead for you next. Thanks for joining me.